let me talk about the Deji fight. Yes, the Deji fight. All right, uh, Deji, I... I'm, I'm disappointed. That's honestly how I feel, man. I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but it's it's the truth. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I I expected more from you. First of all, tactic-wise, how did you think you were ever going to win this fight? Like, what what was the game plan? You're the shorter fighter. You, you've got a smaller reach. So then tell me, why were you slipping backwards? Why were you constantly slipping out of range? Like, this is how I know you don't even watch boxing in general like i was just watching you fight and i just saw you weren't using your brain at all like how are you going to win a fight against a taller a taller fighter on the outside that's you just stayed on the outside range you rarely went in and then whenever you did go in you would just ruin all your hard work by holding him by by clinching you just ruin everything and then he was out muscling you in the clinch like when it comes to fighting a taller fighter you have to take one punch to give two that's just it that's just what you have to deal with you have to slip inside to to get in range you have to outwork him where was the overhands where was where was the body work where were the hooks you literally did nothing but avoid punches like do you th did you actually think you would win by just doing that i'm sorry but your whole game plan was wrong if your game plan was to not punch then what the fuck are you doing entering the ring alex wasabi is shit okay i've made a whole video on this guy laughing at him he's a joke this was meant to be your easy fight and you lost now notice in the title i didn't even say my thoughts on deji versus alex wasabi fight because he is so irrelevant <laughs> he's not worthy to put in my fucking titles i just don't understand how are you gonna lose your redemption fight to alex wasabi man this guy is literally a child in a grown man's body like literally after the fight my man was talking about wanting candy how old he's 31 bro he's 31 and he's like yo I just want some candy. What's going on, man? You lost to a CBBC presenter. You lost to a, a Disney presenter. Like, I just don't understand how you came through like, oh, I'm going to fuck him up. When I get in that ring, he's finished. And then you get in the ring and you don't even punch. You don't even use your hands. Man, make it make sense. Did you, where was, where was the belief? You actually made Alex Wasabi look good. You made this man look good. This man look good. This man. Then she tell me, how are you going to lose weight, get fitter, and still throw less punches than you did when you were fat? You threw less punches at 77 kg than when you were 93 kg. And the thing is, I don't understand how you've somehow got people telling you that you performed better. Yes, slipped better. Yes, the slipping phenomenal but that was it Nidge. that was it you didn't really show fitness because you didn't punch so we didn't get to see how fit you were like to me you did worse because you just threw less punches than against Vinny Hacker you can fool your audience Deji but you you can't fool me man you simply just didn't do enough so Deji let's just start with this whole narrative that you did better in this fight than you did in the last fight because first of all like anything would have been better than your last fight bro you gave up after taking a one minute break you went on your knees and <laughs> needed more break and secondly you still lost you still lost your own three did you've lost three times you know the first one first time that i was properly proud of you because i could see that you put your all into it you put 110 percent yes you lost but it was close and you tried second fight bro dismiss that 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 don't count like that's atrocious third fight cool you did a little bit better slipping you threw less and you lost still. And it's Alex Wasabi, man. Let's not forget. It's this guy, bruv. And you know what really pissed me off as well? Your video, fam. Your video just pissed me off, man. Cool. You're not a quitter. That's good, all right? Happy days. But at least be humble in defeat, fam. I hated that. At the end of the video, you were like, oh, congrats, you know, my guy. Uh, you hit me like eight times, though, but <laughs> good. well played. Bro, you lost. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nigga, at least he hit you. At least he hit you. Did you hit him? Did you even throw to hit him? Like, what one? Cool, you evaded his shots. Then what? What did you do then? You just looked at him. You just stared at him, fam. You didn't do the most basic thing in boxing. 
punching. He he fully just outworked you. So at least be humble in defeat, man. You literally have no legs to stand on. You have no legs to stand on now, bro. First fight, cool. Second fight, okay. Third fight, am I a dickhead? Am I a dickhead? And the thing is, you still have people in your audience being like, you know what? Next time, bro. Fam, how many times until you're gonna get serious? Now, Deja, I want you to listen to this, okay? The reason why I am where I am today is because most of the time, I do everything that I do for me. When it came to the music, I did it for me. If I did it for people, fam, I would never be doing music. Do you know how many people were hating on me? Saying, oh, you can't do music, you're shit, stop trying. If I listened to all those people back then, I wouldn't be getting a number one album. I wouldn't be getting top fives, top tens. I wouldn't be selling out Wembley Arena. Same with YouTube, I did that shit for me. Same with boxing, I did that shit for me. Yes, here and there I help people and do what I can to, you know, make people's day. But most of the time, I do shit for me. So, what really annoyed me, man, was when you were asking the crowd, straight after losing, being like, yo, should I fight again? Should I fight again? Why are you asking them? Is it their decision? If they literally told you, no, don't do it, does that mean you're not gonna do it? If the audience told you to run into a wall, you're gonna run into a wall, fam. Like, what is this mentality, fam? When are you gonna finally do something for yourself? Now I know we were gonna be like, ah, oh, JJ, you're being so harsh. You're being mean or you're being fair. <laughs> I don't care, fam. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not talking to all these people. I'm talking to you, Deji. And I told you even after the fight that I'm just frustrated, man. I'm just frustrated. You've lost three times. Three times, man. Do you like losing? Because it looks like you just love it when people feel sorry for you. When are you going to get serious? When are you going to... St stop making excuses for yourself. Remember on um, Christmas Day... I told you to pull out of the fight. I know you remember this. I told you, pull out the fight. You know why? Because you don't have the right mentality. You don't have the right mentality to win a fight. So until that changes, you shouldn't enter the ring. I told you to go on a 5K on Christmas day and you ended up doing 1K and complaining that your back hurts. You don't think my shit hurts when I run and this and that, but I still just keep going. I still push through. So I gave you the benefit of the doubt. The next day I was like, let's go on another run. Fam, you didn't even, <laughs> you didn't even do it. You were like, nah, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling in bed. You had a fight, bro. You had a fight in a few months and you wanted to just chill in bed while I'm out here still running and I, I, I'm not even fighting anyone. So like I said, you don't have what it takes to win a boxing fight. I feel like you think you're just gonna be handed a win when you actually have to go get it. That's boxing. You can't just go in the ring and just win, bro. You have to throw a punch. <laughs> God damn it, man. You have to throw to win a fucking boxing match. But yeah, man, I don't think you have what it takes to win a boxing match. But you know what? That's it's, it's okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have what it takes to win tennis or win ice skating or a dancing competition or even golf. I'm, I'm terrible at golf. Believe it or not, I'm not good at everything in life, Ditch. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not being the best at everything. Maybe this will explain things better. This is more my, my mentality when it comes to things. Life isn't about being the best. It's all about doing the best that you can and you simply didn't. And that's why I'm so disappointed. You know, that's all I have to say. It's been your boy KSI. I'm sick of doing these type of videos, man. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Just be serious, be serious. Take. Shit, seriously, man. <sighs> All right, well, yeah, peace.